pretty bad from my fall last night and I had a really bad night's sleep that's all I'm going to say not going to tell you what happened but I'm going to check my blood right now because I just woke up and I'm still trying to establish my range so I got my little machine with my little strip in there I got my little lance whatever with the needle cocked back and here I go Prick my finger. Oh, bleed, bleed. There you go. Put some blood on the strip. Two, one. Bam, 133. That's good. So, I'm going to, that's before meal. So, I'm going to say okay to put that into the register. Okay. Now, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep checking my blood before meals and after meals for a little while, and then I'm going to take the machine with me to my next doctor's appointment and tell them to tell me what my range is. <laughs> <laughs> so now I need to make myself some food because I'm hungry. Hello, everyone. I'm 21! I'm 21 now. I start school tomorrow, so that should be fun. Um, thank you all for the birthday wishes. Thank you. Thank you for the fancy stuff and everyone wishing me happy birthday. It's exciting, but I don't really feel any different. But it's exciting, and I got to get carded, which was cool. Um, and everyone go watch, go check out my, Megan's Arts and Crafts, our new channel. I po We posted a video of me um, painting, it's a, it's a sped up video of me painting Brian's painting, which was his gift for um, for Valentine's Day. So it's it, there's a video of me painting it, which turned out really, really neat. So everyone go watch it, and all you have to do is type in Megan's Arts and Crafts, and it comes right up. So, yay. Did you have a great birthday? I had a great birthday. I'm old. <laughs> You're just older. Old. Hello, everybody. I wanted to introduce you. You guys have already met just Joey, but he did something amazing for us last night that actually made me cry. And I'm going to have him explain it all to you guys right now. Um, we have him on Skype. So, just Joey... Go ahead and tell the neighbors everything um, that you did. Hi, Polly. <laughs> All right. So what I did for Kevin, Kevin, Megan, and Valerie is I set up a GoFundMe, but I also set up a Facebook page. So first off, I'm going to show you guys the Facebook page. So on the top it says hashtag help the neighbors. And then for the profile picture, it says hashtag HTN. And then it just has some, has some stuff on here. There's a button on here that you can click to go to the GoFundMe page. So we had been wanting to set up a GoFundMe account, but we did not know how to go about doing it. And Joey, knowing <laughs> our situation with um, our Kevin not working and our insurance um, and my medical needs and whatnot... Uh, took it upon himself to create this GoFundMe for us, and <laughs> went. <laughs> we're laughing at Polly right now. <laughs> he was he was being a ninja or something, and I was I was Aww. looking at him, and he started laughing. <laughs> I swear, Megan and Polly together would it would be a wild zoo party. <laughs> that would be a zoo video in itself. All right, so. On the um, GoFundMe page, so it has the hashtag HCN picture with a little bit of the letters cut off. Here you could donate and basically share this with your friends and stuff. Well, it may take a while, but at least they'll be able to get in between that goal. And I and I just 
just really wanted to help them. Joey setting that up for us was just a blessing, and it did bring tears to my eyes last night when I saw this. Yeah, we've been very reluctant to say anything about money on the blog, so this is kind of uh, great. And we thank you, Joey, so very much. You don't know how much this means to us. You're very welcome. I just really want to help you guys out because there's some awesome people. Doesn't he just look all nice and comfy? Just laying there all stretched out. Hello everybody. So, just finished watching The Talking Dead. I don't know if you guys watched that, but I find it pretty interesting. It's always longer than the actual show. <laughs> it's always thought that was kind of weird. But that's, it's pretty interesting. I really, I like watching that. It kind of gets into what happened in the show that week and what to expect. And, you know, they usually have some of the actors on it, even though they can't really talk much about what's coming up and all of that. It's still pretty interesting. So I'm doing up some dishes right now, and then we're going to do some more work on our, um, PIN vlog, so hopefully we can get that up soon. So Kevin and I are both going to sit down and try and do some more work on that today. And uh, that's about it for now. We have to say, yeah. say blind to the camera. Blind to the camera. <laughs> hey, honey, how's it going in here? It's going. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you had a headset in. It's okay. Are you, are you in the middle of something? Can you talk? Or? Uh, yeah, I can talk. So how's it going? Uh, it's going okay. Yeah? Yeah. What are we looking at? As far as time? Yeah, for release date. A couple of days. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We at least finally got through all the evidence. Mm -hmm. That's the big part. Yeah, that's the, the, the long schlog, is he, to actually go through all the evidence. And I had to teach myself how to do a couple of more things, and it's still kind of confusing, so. Oh. Okay. Well. Yeah. Zoom in on a corner. Oh, so you can mark that actual corner? Yeah, so I was able to do it, to zoom in on a visual evidence. Hello, everybody! It's time for shout outs. You can stop now. Good. <laughs> Getting tired. So, we got a couple of comments on our PIN channel today. Yay. Um, Moni Cook, glad you're enjoying the PIN channel. We do have a new investigation that will be going up in a few days. We finally finished reviewing all the evidence, and it's in the editing process right now. So it's in his hands. It's in his hands. Literally. Yeah. And, <laughs> and Mark Lunsford said, said that um, he thinks we're so good at that, we may be able to start our own TV show. I'd love that. Yeah. Right well, now, I just would like to have another um, cool venue to investigate. Yeah, in. that would be really awesome. So That would be really awesome. We got a couple of updates on some uh, people that we've asked you guys to keep in your thoughts and prayers. Um, Ken Batista's mom, she is fighting very, very hard right now. She's on her fifth session of chemo. So, prayers continuing to go out to you, Ken, and your entire family. And Amber Rice, uh, update on her cousin's baby, Zakaya. She is currently holding down two ounces of fluid every two hours, so that's a good sign. But it's still not enough to take her off of the TPN. I'm not exactly sure what the TPN is, but um, Bambi S will know what that is. And she has now caught some sort of a bug and she's running a fever. And it's very dangerous for um, someone in this position to get sick. But 
the Tylenol is bringing the fever down, so they're very happy about that. They are trying really, really hard to get her to a, a state to where they can transfer her to a hospital in Boston where she'll be closer to the family. So continue everybody to keep Zakaya, Amber, and their entire family in your thoughts and prayers as well. So thanks, guys. Uh, and Ida Christine... Sorry that you had to have jaw surgery. I don't know what it was for, but I hope you're healing well. And um, I would have to say Kevin would probably like me if I ever, you know, I have to have more surgeries. But if Kevin had to wish for one surgery on me, I bet you it would be jaw surgery. Just so he can have the jaw? Yes, Is just so he can together? have just so he can have a few days of peace and quiet. I kind of doubt that. <laughs> I'd get a bell and ring the bell all the time. <laughs> She'd find a way to annoy me. <laughs> uh, Lucy Owl is at 66 subs. And she's going to do a special trick when she hits 70 sub. She's going to eat a cupcake with no hands at all. So, she's only four away, guys. Let's get her to her 70 subs. So we can see her eat a cupcake. And, um, Mom, <laughs> get a really messy cupcake for oh, her. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. really messy one. That would be nice. <laughs> Danielle Wilkins, welcome to the neighborhood. And a shout-out to you, too. I've given this channel shout-outs many, many, many times. And I'm going to continue to always shout this channel out because I... I'm a big, big, big supporter of her, and I want to help her any way we can. Mom's Vlog 80. She is starting a new t-shirt campaign. She has 50 shirts, and they're $15 each, $5 for shipping, so it's going to be $20 for a t-shirt. Um, I want to try and sell her out by the end of this week. So if anybody out there could possibly... Go and buy a t-shirt. Just go on to Mom's Vlog 80 YouTube channel. Go down and look at the information. And it has a link to buy the t-shirts. Click on there and go buy a t-shirt. And they could really, really use financial support. But also just the love and support of so many people just being there for them. So go buy and check it out. Mom's Vlogs 80. Love you all. And she would greatly appreciate any support she can get. So, it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! Okay, okay, okay. So, See, that's when he wants my mouth wired shut. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we had um, our uh, trivia question. Um, like, oh, and, and who was it who got it right this time? Only one! Uh, Terry Johnson. As usual. <laughs> um, Round of applause for Terry. So this was about Saturday the 14th, which starred Richard Benjamin and Paul Apprentice, who happened to be the actually uh, husband and wife. And um, she actually broke her arm the day before um, the shooting started. But it was a Corman production, so nobody really cared. They just they just hit it. <laughs> and so she had something over her arm uh, the entire uh, uh, movie. movie. Terry also got the Florence Nightingale reference as well. Florence Nightingale was a famous nurse who uh, is uh, well known for being up all night and making sure that the patients are well. And of course, Florence Fallingale over here. Keeping in keeping with the holiday themed uh, horror films that uh, I'm coming up with, I had to really look for this one. I uh, was looking, found a movie called President's Day. Uh, 2007? 10. 2010. Uh, a real uh, low budget schlocker. It looks like it was it had like a $5,000 budget. but uh, It's a horror comedy. Horror war comedy. Uh, and um, the killer was uh, dressed as Abraham Lincoln. And the question is how many people ended up playing the killer in the movie? You are all part of our neighborhood community each 
each and every one of you. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all so very much. Thank you. Thumbs up. We will see you all tomorrow. Make sure to go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo, Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors. There will be a new video up in a couple of days, we promise. And Megan's Arts and Crafts. Um, not a new video up on that yet, but there is going to be very soon. So check everything out and we will see you all tomorrow.